Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 8, verses 25, right through to the end of the chapter, verse 40. We're going to be talking about Philip and the Ethiopian. They therefore, when they had testified and spoken the word of the Lord, returned to Jerusalem and preached the good news to many villages of the Samaritans. But an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south to the way that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert. He arose and went, and behold, there was a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was over all her treasure, who had come to Jerusalem to worship. You see, People from all over the place came to Jerusalem in those days to worship, you know, especially during the feast days, especially during the high holidays. He was returning and sitting in his chariot and was reading the prophet Isaiah, that is, Yeshiahu. The Spirit said to Philip, Go near and join yourself to this chariot. Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you're reading? And he said, How can I unless someone explains it to me? He begged Philip to come up and sit with him. Now the passage of scripture which he was reading was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. As a lamb before his shearer is silent, so he doesn't open his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. Who will declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And that is found in Isaiah chapter 53, verses 7 and 8. The eunuch answered Philip, Who is the prophet talking about? About himself or someone else? Philip opened his mouth and beginning from this scripture, preached to him about Yeshua. As they went on the way, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, Behold, here is water. What is keeping me from being baptized? Now verse 37 The TR, the Textus Receptus Manuscripts, adds, If you believe with all your heart, you may. He answered, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He commanded the chariot to stand still, and they both went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. It's significant to understand here that this wasn't some public display. Here, there might have been only a few people watching, yet Philip was still baptized. So the act of baptizing Philip here wasn't a public display. I mean, you know, Philip could have said, okay, let's go to Jerusalem. Let's go to a public place where, you know, this is a very public thing so you can make your faith known publicly and then I'll baptize you publicly. That's not what he said. He did the baptism more or less a private setting. Verse 39, when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away. That means that Philip was actually taken away. I mean, physically taken away, physically removed out of the scene. And the eunuch didn't see him anymore, for he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotus. Passing through, he preached the good news to all the cities until he came to Caesarea. Very, very interesting portion of scripture here. Not very often do you read about the teleportation of the Lord when the Spirit of the Lord can just physically remove you out of out of a situation and put you somewhere else just like that. I've heard that happen to several people actually in this day and age, okay? It does happen. God can do it. God can do anything. He is still on the throne. He is still alive. God is still working today, okay? I mean, isn't the life of walking with God so exciting? I mean, how can you be bored? Put it this way. If you get bored, you're not right with God. You, you, there's something wrong somewhere. You can't be bored and walk with the Lord at the same time. It's just impossible, okay? doesn't matter whether you're alone or in the public. Hey, it is exciting walking with God. You don't know what can happen next. You know, it is awesome. Seek him and you will find him. If you seek him with all your heart, call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.